Welcome everyone to the What It Is Podcast, episode 14. I'm Rex a Million, and as always, I'm here with Cass and T Rich. How are you guys feeling today? Good. Good, good. Good, good. man. Excellent day. Excellent good. day. Good. So How about yourself? I'm doing good. I'm glad the cicadas are finally dying down out here because he just, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, can, I can sit outside, I can walk around, and I don't worry about, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they invade. They invade the the early part of the warm season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they yeah. only really last like how long were they here? Do y'all remember like maybe like three? They're supposed to be here to the end three of weeks. June. Oh really? They came like the last week of May. May I think it was. They only supposed to be here a month. Oh June. Okay, I'm thinking July. Sure. Okay, yeah. So it shouldn't be too much longer. But they go away. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, and the humidity seems to be um, better lately. Been well, that's that's because of the that's because of the rain. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it was a beautiful day today, though, out here. <clears throat> but um, so today um, we are yeah, going to you- we're gonna um go into a few things um. Cass is gonna, you know, he's gonna lead us today into our topic. Yeah, so, so what, you, what you got for us, Cass? Yeah, what you got for? Us? So <laughs> I, I wanted, I wanted to talk. I wanted to talk about something. Uh, There's a trending topic. Um, it's it's kind of ridiculous in my opinion, but uh, the <laughs> too. the petition to cancel Destiny's Child single mm-hmm. care for you. I mean, cater to you. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, just want to know what you guys think of that. Uh, just sounding off, see what you guys think of that. Um, I know we talked about it a little bit, but I, di- I didn't really jump into discussion, but mm-hmm. I definitely had an opinion about it. Um, um, none, none of y'all jumped in. I think it was just Crystal and I. Oh, you're talking about yeah, the, I was, and the, and the- group chat yeah, yeah okay yeah crystal and i talked about it, it. yeah it took off because i like, sent the um <laughs> yeah it did because i sent the the post i sent what i saw it online and i sent it to into the chat mm-hmm. and then crystal she did respond she and then me and her were going back and forth but then y'all was like man yeah. the guys didn't chime in well when you sent the um that first picture it said swipe or something because that didn't that so I didn't see anything on that. I just saw. Oh, you had to click it. To, it would have taken you to the post. Oh, okay, got you. And then when you get to the post, then you could slide and, and you know and see through okay. what they were saying. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But I did see Crystal mentioned it in her um when she commented. But um, mm-hmm. but yeah, um, me and Cass discussed it briefly on the phone today because he told <laughs> me about it. Yeah. And then I I mean. I'm sure I don't remember the song. I'm sure I've heard it. You know, it's probably been a while since. Well, it's obviously been a while since I heard it. But he said something, and I was like thinking maybe that it was just, you know, maybe one person or a few people. But he said it was memes and all this stuff, and like he was seeing it other places. And I'm like, okay, this is like, this is crazy. So then I went on Twitter, and I um went to the you know the trending or whatever. But it wasn't it wasn't on the on this section, but when I started typing it in, it showed up and then came I, up real yeah, easily. Yeah, it came up really fast, and mm-hmm. I I didn't really re- I, I didn't really read much of it, but just the fact that it's trending, you know. But there were people that were against it. Um, a lot of them were talking about it's a lot of like the younger people that want to do it, like this new you know generate. I don't know, but I didn't read a lot of the tweets. But me personally. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's foolish. Like, it just, yeah, you know, um, it has to be. It would have to be the younger people because they know nothing about yeah that right. You know what I'm saying? Like, how could you, how could you, like, have a problem with that unless right. you're totally inexperienced in that situation? Right. You know, My, they don't know anything about love. These right. youngsters. Yeah. When I, I I shared it on my um I shared it on my uh IG mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um my IG story and I was like 
I, I couldn't, first of all, I couldn't believe it was a, a, a question or even or a conversation to, can to yeah. cancel the, the song. I'm like, for what? And yeah. then I see I'm, as I'm going down and reading everything about it, it's, it, it's a lot of young people. But the thing that got me is they compare, they are comparing it to slavery. Okay. They're comparing it to slavery. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, all right, y'all need to go somewhere. I was like, but, but then it led me to, this is the problem. Like, that's why cultivating relationships, love, they don't, it, nobody knows about it because they don't know what you're supposed to be doing they, in it. They think you don't know. They think it's being but, totally submissive. Like, and then like, they're looking at it as like the woman, the, the women are being totally submissive and the men aren't giving anything. Like, that's the how problem. they're that's how they're looking at it. And like, that's a, that's a naive way to look at it because that's obviously not what the song is about. You know what I mean? But I also think too, digging deeper into it is that a lot of them not have not probably even experienced the type of person. They'd be a good enough person to do that for. That's exactly. Like you, you, yeah. you can't, they couldn't see themselves doing it. You don't give that type of treatment to just everybody. Someone has right. to prove themselves worthy, first of all. Are you saw, giving it to I anybody? Go ahead, Cass. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that on there too. Like somebody's point was saying, um, it's not it's it's not about those men that you guys are dating that 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 ain't doing the right you know, that is that ain't worthy of it. You know, mm -hmm. that's what you're seeing. But mm -hmm. you know, like when you when you get in a relationship or you're serious and you're married or you you know those are the kind of things you do and somebody so somebody brought up uh on twitter one of the they they uh put out like one of the lines from the song said something about like mm -hmm. he comes home from working hard or something like that yeah you know what i mean yeah. like so it's obviously like it, it's a 50 50 like y'all are both putting in together and you're yeah. you know what i mean so it's not a one-sided thing obviously like i don't think destiny's child will right. put out a song no that was, you know what i mean like what like give him more credit you know what i mean like it's, it's an appreciation song for yeah. a man who is showing up for them right works hard right. showing up for the it's an appreciation song of how you're going to treat them well right. and that's right. why i was like i was taken aback like this is really a conversation like if you have a good right. man, he's yeah. doing what he's supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. He's treating you well. He's not an f boy, <laughs> you know, right. doing the crazy stuff. Why wouldn't you treat someone like that? I, I, I'm not like everybody knows. I've never been married, but I've given those type of benefits to people that I've been in relationships with. Mm -hmm. Like right. if if you have a good one, that you treat them well. Period. Yeah. yeah. And then even one of, even the line where it was like he comes over. I mean he comes. He taps me on my shoulder and I roll over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the women were like, these girls was like, oh, heck no. What the heck are you? I'm like, Man. what? Wow. Are you serious? Wow. Like, okay, well, then, well, then I must be a, but the, the minority. I mean, and no. then thinking that, I'm like, no. why wouldn't you? I think you... there's far more. I think there's far more that can relate and, and, and don't feel that way than there is that do. Yeah, I, canceling it, no. But the thing that got me was anybody canceling bills, 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 because right. I bet that you that's a bop. That's a bop for people, right? Is, and the crazy thing is that that both of those songs, I'm sure, are trending, and they probably ended up getting some spins because that's only going to bring attention to them. Like that's the only upside to to this kind of these kind of discussions or these kind of topics is that it brings. <laughs> more attention back to those songs you know much like yeah. how the social media dances and things like that did for other songs mm. sorry guys go ahead my guy my son's at, <laughs> sorry no my son's over his uh friend's house i gotta tell my mom to pick him up but go ahead keep talking sorry yeah i don't um i was gonna say <laughs> i was like Nobody's boy. When, when they sing about you know a man paying their bills, wasn't any women mm -hmm. finding anything wrong with that? I was like, if y'all don't stop it, stop right. it. But right. it's a shame. Right. It, it really is a testament, though, to how it this is. generation is. And I'm just yeah, like, it's scary. Yeah, it's it scary is really scary. scary. Yeah. 
Like it's gonna be a lost art. Love is gonna be a lost art. Now, in our own age group, it's 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 hard enough. But I was like, dang, the youngsters now are having problems. Yeah, that's like you have that's to be insane. selective. You got to practice discer discernment too on who you give that type of treatment to. It shouldn't just be that anybody does because not everybody is worthy of it. Right, right. So I looked up the lyrics to the song, and like it starts off. It literally starts off. Um, Baby, I see you working hard. I want to let you know I'm proud. Let you know I admire you and what you do. Um, so, like, that's like that's how it kicks off. Like, it's you know what I mean. Like, I have these younger people even heard the song? Are they just reading the title to the song? And no, they they actually some. If you go into come on, they went on the internet. They stuff. did, and I mean, they were they were specifying certain lines. Of yeah. the song, certain lyrics, and then they was like, "Oh no, you know they were really." Oh, interested. so they're picking it. They're picking and choosing, going through and picking and choosing the lines that they interpret a certain way, but they're not reading, you know, all the lines, seeing all the lines in the song. No, they're going through line by line of the song. They're very well aware of what yeah. the the song is saying. They just don't agree with it. They really look at it like, like I said, some compared it to slavery. So uh, they they don't think they don't think they do you think be doing okay, that let me ask you something let me ask you something do you think it's a case of them literally being too young to really understand and they're just they're 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 genuinely looking at it they're misinterpreting the whole thing because they just haven't had any experience yeah. and they don't they don't just don't understand yeah i definitely think they don't they've never experienced the type of love that would even warrant that type of treatment and it's crazy how it, it caught it picked up and it, it trended off of that. Like there's that many people that are jumping on the bandwagon, the cancel culture bandwagon, yeah. you know what I mean? And misinterpret it. Mm -hmm. Or there's probably people that have misinterpreted it. And then there's people that are just going along with what those people were saying without even, they probably didn't even know it was a destiny's child song. They just heard these people talking about it and they're like, yeah, yeah. You know, they're, they're jumping behind, you know, gassing them up, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. it's just sad. Uh, it's sad, but I mean, sad. yet again, I don't and I don't expect younger people to really understand that t that level of intimacy or commitment. I really don't. Right. I don't expect that they yeah. would know. Like I said, it would take for people to understand that type of love and that level of love and intimacy. Right. But then, you know, if you don't understand something, you shouldn't speak on something. I feel like that should be. You shouldn't. Shouldn't speak right. on it. Your ass have you have on you on or social media? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Get, but, off, uh, get off Twitter. Get off Facebook. Yeah. Are you yeah. on the planet yeah. Earth, Rex? Right now, <laughs> like that's what people do all the time. I mean, yeah, because we talked yeah. about the cancel. We had a cancel culture episode. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked all about mm -hmm. that. So you know, it's just. But I, I mean, seeing this, it just, it, it, it it's, it's more. It just makes you feel more discouraged of like the generations coming up, you know, and how they mm -hmm. view things. Or I guess I would say the generations coming up who don't have like proper um, uh, parenting or, you know, guidance, role models, people to let them know that, hey, you know, if you don't understand something, just don't go out there. Don't speak on yeah, it. Yeah, don't speak on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot that, you know, um, but... Cause I couldn't see my son going out there pulling some song up and thinking that it means this, you know what I mean? And then going, putting some posts up and trying to, you know, cancel it. Like my oldest son, I couldn't see him doing that, you know, but that's because like he knows better than to, to just go around and make assumptions and speak on things that he, you know, so yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's the nutshell in a nutshell what that is about and i was i was telling rex i feel like it's a plus because it brings attention to these artists music when they do stuff like this and it's mm -hmm. like because i was trend a trend is trending again mm -hmm. um i knew it was doing something when our um our son was on tiktok yesterday and i heard bills 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 playing i'm like <laughs> I already know what that's related to. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, because that's that's the argument. Because that's the argument. So yeah. it's like, 
it's it's a plus it's a plus and then we look at it like you know younger kids and stuff they have phones and they have the streaming services and they have social media and stuff like that and they're so speaking on things yeah. that man they they're speaking on things that they're they're they haven't even experienced and and um but also they're able to speak their voice or be heard by when you look at the when you look at the um streaming services you look at like songs that are trending and mm -hmm. you know that that that's going to be trending just because of the conversation so mm -hmm. it's like that's a plus that's a plus for for the artists but yeah because what they say like even insane. bad even even like negative publicity is still publicity like it's still like yeah, yeah bad publicity is still good publicity yeah mm -hmm. it's so, publicity yeah, yeah. You know, one way yeah. or the other, and I mean, they've already made money off those that music. This is just potentially more, you know, more spins, more, more, um, more plays, you know, more streams, so more revenue. Right. You know, so, yeah. Yep. Yep. So enough of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> enough of that nonsense. Um, <laughs> what I want to talk about is, uh, you know, I had a question to pose. Okay, so. Uh, you're in a relationship and you find out that your partner stepped out, like they cheated on you. Um, mm -hmm. What is your... Are you... Uh, I mean, for those who have experienced it, um, were you able to forgive or what did that look like? Were you able to uh, move past it um what kind of things you know do you think you require to even be able to do that so basically what's that look like for you that's my question mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i have had it happen to me mm -hmm. I Speak have on it. <laughs> <laughs> you have you have mm -hmm. done it too you i have, have done, done i have yeah i've cheated one in one relationship Oh, long, long tea. ago. Over, we, thought, we thought you were perfect, T. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. But um, I did. It, it was long, 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 long ago. It was like over 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. I did cheat. Um, okay. I didn't want to stay. Young. Yeah. I, I didn't want to stay in the relationship. Okay. So I and it, it was ended. Mm -hmm. um, he, he actually okay. did want to continue, mm -hmm. but I did not. Oh, wow. Um, okay. And then, then I've been in relationships with a mm, plural, plural where I have been cheated on. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, the, the, uh, the most devastating one. Yeah. I, I mean, I did, I didn't always actually, it was only the one I'll speak of this one. The one that I stayed in, one of them I stayed in. Um, mm -hmm. We we did split for a brief, um, mm -hmm. but then we did reconcile, forgave. I I, I, mm -hmm. I, don't, I I'm a firm believer in you can forgive, but you you're not supposed to forget. I don't like when people say forgive and forget. Oh, you're yeah. not supposed oh, to forget. No, you can't. Right. You're, you're not, not supposed you're not, to no. because you, what happens is you suppose the person is supposed to take full accountability of what they the wrongs that they've done against you. Mm -hmm. And then That's with right. that, once they take accountability, then they're supposed to change the behavior. Mm -hmm. So for me, right, it's like, right. yeah, I can I can forgive you. I have forgiven mm -hmm. infidelity. Yeah. I can forgive, but it's like now what you're gonna do with the forgiveness? Do something with it. Because what I hate right, right. Yeah. and what a person did do to me was that just because they they weren't taking the full accountability and then and then doing well with their with my forgiveness so mm -hmm. then they took that yeah. as me holding on to it no that's not me holding on to it is that you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing with the forgiveness that i've given you well mm. like do they like i i mean it's almost like do they expect you to just okay i've forgiven now it's just we're, we're back to like all the it's like it didn't happen yeah like we're back to the drawing board yeah. like no it's gonna take time to build that trust back up so you can't just say Absolutely. just because just because you forgave doesn't mean the slate is totally clean it means that you're gonna have to earn 
you know, the there's trust. just trust back. So, yeah. And But I think people think that. They think once they've gotten the forgiveness, the slate is wiped clean and we're never case. supposed to ever talk about that again. And it's no. supposed to be in the past. Because all you ever keep hearing is, you're holding on to the past. It's like, you're, I'm not. You're it's like processing. You're, not... you're taking time to heal. It's, it's a process. And some people's process yeah. is longer than others. You don't know how they deal with it. you know. So. But it'll be as swift mm. as you make it. It'll be as swift as the person who did the wrongdoing That's true. makes it. I'll like if you're gonna keep, if you're gonna be slacking on it and all of that, then guess what? We're gonna stay in that space. You have mm -hmm. to make do, do with the forgiveness that I've given you. Yeah. And then we move forward, mm -hmm. and then things can be cool. But you got to make it, and it's gonna be work. It's gonna be more work because people don't realize when you cr create betrayal. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you're you're destroying what you could you could have been building something strong, but then now you just knock it's like you're building this blocks. You you're building blocks, yeah. then you just somebody came and just like yep. Charlie Murphy just, <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> kicked it all down like Charlie Murphy <laughs> That was cold That's yeah, exactly and then you gotta build like. it. You gotta build it right back up again. You know what I mean? Like, right. Right, right. So yeah. Like fuck your couch. <laughs> like that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Like you gotta. You have right. to understand that. And I don't think a lot of people take that in consideration. They just think once they get the forgiveness, oh, we good. We square. Yeah. Let's move forward. Right. And, and then like, they have like a lot yeah. of times they have the audacity to come at you be like now nah, you're tripping you don't want to get over it you don't want to do this and that yeah. and it's like well who are you to tell me like you're the one who <laughs> stepped out and you're the one you know i i gotta build my trust back you know what i mean so you you point fingers like you're the victim like you're not the victim you know what i mean like i don't know but yeah. and i'm not and then they'll treat yeah. you like you're the one that did something wrong yeah i did saying. nothing yeah. wrong yeah. it's like listen i'm supposed to all this is how it's supposed to work you take accountability you show up you show mm -hmm. me why I can now trust you. All I'm all the only piece I'm supposed to have in that is giving you the opportunity to try again yeah. and then going along with it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. it. That's all I'm supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be doing the heavy lifting and they gotta because make, you betray me. They gotta make a serious They gotta make sacrifices and they're gonna have to do things that it's gonna be difficult because they're gonna be they're, they're gonna have to be on their P's and Q's all the time, depending on how you know, like how that person, you know. Because that person has feelings of like, well, you know, well, when you're going out, when you're doing this and that, like, I don't feel the same when you're doing that stuff as I did before you did that stuff. You know what I mean? So now when you're doing that stuff, my feelings are different. So now you're going to have to be like, if I feel like you got to check in with me or whatever, th if that's part of the process for a little while, then you're going to have to make those sacrifices Absolutely. to build that trust back up, you know? So. And then people be getting sour over that. Like, yeah. oh, I shouldn't have to do that. Excuse right. me? Like, right. how do you feel? How do you think this is supposed to work? Like, how do you mm -hmm. think building right. trust is? You're going to have to do things you, you may not you... want to do <laughs> until we get to a place where we're better. Right. How you gonna commit the transgression and then tell me how it's gonna go after? That? Right, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's so backwards. It's so backwards. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like the ball's in my court, not yours. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so um... so in in my experience, um, that has happened um, to me, and I, I was look as I thought Wait about this topic, I looked. I look back I'm doing my and I was like, I was like, man, it's in my, my experience, it, it didn't make it. It didn't survive. Like we didn't stay together mm. and none of them. It happened. Oh, wow. It happened more than once. So hey. uh, it's no. crazy. Like I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, wow. Like I, it, it wasn't like, Why? it wasn't like, hey. It wasn't even like it was a top. I mean, uh, not a topic, but like a uh, hey. a, a, a option to stay right. together. <laughs> really? Like it was like it was known. Yeah, no. it was like it was weird. It was just like we talked about it, but it was like, oh, you did that. Yeah, I can't. I can't be because like with me, I don't. I'm not a person that gets jealous. I'm not a person that like thinks about that stuff all the time or like gets caught up on yeah. that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I just look at it like, oh, if you you step out, then you know, 
that's that's on you and that's okay. that's the end mm-hmm. yeah. you know what i'm saying because i i know what i do you know what i'm saying it's like if that's how you solve problems all you do you solve problems in a relationship or that's how you um you that's how you see it as a way to deal with things then i can't rock with you anyway mm. that's how i looked at it so um in it's crazy because like I'm like one of them that happened with with and it was like you know I had a suspicion it was happening but it was like if I find out that it's happening mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying it's over but the thing is that I did forgive them but that don't mean we continue yeah yeah I yeah forg- that's true yeah. I, I forgave them I forgave them we were still cool we still you know uh, communicate. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, but we're not we're not a couple. We're not together anymore mm-hmm. because you know it's not even. I've so I've never experienced the process of oh forgive mm-hmm. and then move move past it. I never mm-hmm. experienced that. Did you ever try, or had, you just it was just it? You just felt like you just it wasn't going to work. I was just done, and they yeah. knew it. Yeah, they knew it. So it's kind of like. Why is that so, Cass? I don't know. Like, I, I, I've been thinking about it, and I'm just like, wow. Like, why is it? It's like it's a given. Yeah. Like, well, you know, this is over. You know, you know, you're not. You know, you can't. You know, you know, your position is is no longer needed here, right? Like, wow. <laughs> you know, you're fired. Terminated. Yeah. You know, you're fired. Yeah. It was like, wow. Like, and it's not like I'm just like. Um, a hard nose about it. It was just like you just felt like it was something I, that it's you like I didn't even. You just felt like it's something that it's you like just, something I never even thought about. Oh, okay. It's something I never even thought about. I didn't. Yeah. Even, I didn't even think about it. Did you feel and like I was it, thinking like you don't do it? Did you just don't do it? So you felt Be like honest it, with me. That's it. So do you, do you feel like it was something that was just like you feel like how do I say it? It's just you like. Was it morals where you're just like, okay, if someone, if I get, if someone cheats on me, like where your morals are at, did you feel like I was just like, that's just something that I just, I don't, I I just feel like I can't be with that person if that's something like that happens. Or was it like a a decision where you kind of weighed it out? Like, okay, well, am I going to stay? Am I not going to stay? And then you just decided to say, okay, I can forgive, but I can't stay. Like, which one do you think it was? Well, I didn't wait. I didn't wait. No, no. All right. So, so, okay. (laughs) One of them, we were not together anymore, but we were still like um, intimate and stuff. Mm-hmm. So they that happened where they they got with somebody and ended up getting a um, STD, mm-hmm. and then I and then I found out, and then I found out obviously the hard way. So it was like, yo. So you not only mm. now mind you, before I got intimate with this person, I asked them, have they been with anyone else? And they said no. So being as though that was the case, then it turns into, okay, y'all you did that on top of that, you lied and put me in jeopardy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's a no brainer. Like um, I can't. Yeah. I can't rock with that. I can't yeah, rock with that. Yeah, that's pretty. Um, se- that's pretty serious stuff. That's yeah. 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 And then the other one was like they got with somebody and they did, they did that, and it was like that's their answer to things when there's a problem. That's how they deal with it. They get with someone else, and it's like, do you want it? Like I asked, I was like, do you want a reaction? Do you want like? Do you want? And then the crazy thing is, they was trying to blame it on me. They was putting it on me oh, instead no. of taking responsibility. That was oh, where yeah. they were at the time. I don't blame you for both. Yeah, they were at the I time. see. I don't blame you for both yeah. of those incidences. I feel like you were in the, you were very justified for I what you did both that. times. Yeah. Yeah. What did yeah. they I hit you with? The that. whole you they weren't you wasn't giving them what they needed <laughs> type yeah. of thing yeah. or. Oh, you, yeah. you have to. You have to take. You have to take some responsibility for this, huh? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> the reaction. I laughed yeah. so hard. I laughed so wow. hard. Laugh in their face. <laughs> <laughs> like it might have it pissed them off so bad, but uh, oh, you can't do stuff like that Mm-mm. and then turn around and say that say that kind of stuff to people. It's like at That's, the end of the day, yeah. at the end of the day, I didn't I was here. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah, that's 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 um I, I I understand that's like a typical thing where it's like they either take responsibility or they they try to put it on you, mm-hmm. and they probably most likely do that with a lot of other things in life. Oh yeah, yeah. So, ding ding, that's yeah. a word, Cass. That's yeah. a word. So so that's so that's a win for you for the, for you to cut them off because you don't need somebody like that in your life, even as a friend. Because that's so. how they handle situations in life. That's just how they handle things, right, and it's it's right. gonna it, yeah. it 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 plays out in different aspects in life. So it's you know, well, it's all in character. Order for it, in order for it to be it, forgiveness, it has to be growth on that person's end. That person who has to grow past that and and really see the error in doing stuff like that. And it's lack of lack of maturity. You know, a lot of it is that too. You know. So. That's, oh, yeah. that's, yeah. that's the truth, Kaz. It had it, it is maturity, Rex, but and also, Kaz, like you said, there has to be growth mm-hmm. and ev- mm-hmm. evolving. If you're gonna, if you get, mm-hmm. if someone forgives you, and you get another chance, you have there has to be growth, man. If you're gonna yeah. continue go through the same thing, and it don't even always have to be the same transgression. It don't right. always have to be right. cheating. Right. It could still be yeah. just things that there's betrayals that aren't mm-hmm. necessarily just cheating. Right, yeah. But if there, if I there's mean, no growth past these things, yeah, taking yeah. Res- taking responsibility for the things that you do, the decisions, the bad decisions that you make, that's pretty much the bl- the umbrella of the whole thing is just responsibility. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but um, but yeah. I was, but like for so for me, so I'll speak my 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 piece. Like, I can't really yeah. remember being. I don't think I was ever cheated on. I haven't been in like, I haven't been in a lot of like relationships like really that were really serious like that really mm-hmm. so um so i can't really can't remember ever being cheated on um but as far as on the flip side i've cheated before you know and um so with that i know that um well like okay so let me just speak hypothetically if that ever happened to me um i don't know i i i know that I don't know. Like I know, if I when I was younger or like in my twenties, I probably wouldn't have been able to handle it. Probably would have, cause I I don't know. I, I probably would have. I don't know. I could be a spiteful person sometimes when people cross me, you know. Or there's certain. Phobia. Yeah, <laughs> but that but there's like there's certain things that like I can be cool about certain things, but then I feel like there's certain things that I feel like just really hit me where it hurts and i feel like that would be one of the things um uh especially if i'm like if i'm being you know honest sincere with you and i'm you know i'm 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 putting in like like i'm taking this relationship seriously and i feel like you are too and you know if i found out that happened i think that would be difficult for me um forgiving yeah i feel like i could forgive but then actually you know staying together or I, i'm not sure i'm really not sure um but now that i'm older i i mean i've matured but i don't know i think that would have to be a situation that i would have to that would have to like i have to be face to face with it to really say you know um but i just all i can say I, is I what's that can i can i say something yeah go ahead. I, it was a few episode a few episodes back we kind of broached the subject and you you were very like no nonsense about you like no i, don't, I couldn't i couldn't <laughs> oh yeah you, you did so I just say want that you right. remember that yeah i, I mean that. i want to have involved in a few weeks well no yeah. it's not <laughs> it's not that but i'm yeah. i've really i've really thought about it cuz i knew this was you know the topic was going to come up and i don't want to yeah. be so cut and dry about it because i don't really know if like i haven't really faced it like I said, I haven't really hit it. It hasn't really happened to me face to face. Um, it, yeah, it's, and, it's one of them things like you can't really know until you're in it. Yeah. And 
you know. Um, That's true. And then, it, of course, it would also depend on what type of the relationship and, and circumstances and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. But I, so based on experience, I can say that I, you know, I have been unfaithful and, you know, I had, and the, you know, person that I was with, um, I had. How did they deal with it? Um, I mean, it. All right. Let me, let me rephrase the question. Yeah, it's kind of. What did they, what did, what did they, Okay. That was that person able to forgive you? Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. What did they What did they require of you, from you to be able to do to even be able to get through that process? What did they? What kind of things did they require of you? Or what well, kind of things did you have to do to earn that forgiveness? Well, I know that. Um. We, you know, there were times. Hold where on. We hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because it's very important, at least for me. Mm -hmm. Cause I, that was part of the question was you found out. So that person find, did they find out the, did they find out the, from you or did they find out the hard way? Um, <laughs> it makes it, it, it's very, it's very important. No, I'm not laughing at y'all. I'm, I'm thinking that transported me to, <laughs> to, to something that happened to you. When, yeah. Very interesting way I found. Man, listen, one day we're gonna talk about that story. Well, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, we can. This is a better time than any. Yeah. Um, okay. So, um, <laughs> I was, um, I I was honest. Um, yeah, I was honest about it. I will say that yeah. I was honest. Um, I, I mean, okay, so it's happened more than once. Like, I don't like. I feel like such a bad person right now, but like, no, but for real, like, you know, it's okay, happened, man. but you know, I'm the type of person. Okay. I, I don't like to, if I'm with someone and I, I have a hard time holding on to things. You know what I mean? I don't want to, I don't want to, if something happened I'm like, it's going to eat, I feel like it's going to eat me alive. And, and that's, I just come out mm. and I'm honest with it. And, and it's like, okay, if I come out mm -hmm. and be honest with it and I, 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 I'm I'm gonna have to face the consequences of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because there's a yeah. chance that they might not stay, stick around, and I feel yeah. like st staying with them and and holding on to these this these lies and and things is worse than if and, and staying together and just holding on to something um, would be worse mm -hmm. than. If I told them risking, you know, like we might stay losing together. Them. Yeah. Losing them because I'm, I'm just, yeah. just, just how I am. I just, I can't, I just, I can't hold on to that. I've, I I don't know. It's just something I just, I can't do it, but, um, yeah, I, I, I was honest yeah. about it and, um, it was difficult for them. It was very, it was very difficult. Um, yeah. uh, so I mean, I had to, build the trust back up, you know, like I had dudes, like I was telling yeah, but, UT, like, you mean like, what did I do? Like what types of things that were, did it entail? What kind of stuff did you have to, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. basically just like, um, like I was telling UT, like if it's like checking in or if it's like, okay, you have a phone, like I'm checking your phone. I can take your phone anytime. You know what I mean? You're not going to be hiding this and that, like, or like you, I have say in certain, or if I like, okay, let's just take, I mean, when it happened, it wasn't like, I don't know if social media was as big as it is now, but let's just say if it happened now, it's like, okay, if I tell you, I don't want you on this app or have this app or something like that, then it's like, I just had to say, okay, I'm not going to, I'm going to get off that app. That. I got to eat that because it's like it, the, building up that trust in our relationship is more important than an app. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So yeah. it was things like yeah. that, where it was like things that I had to just you know, these sacrifices I had to make and I just had to say, Hey, you know what I mean? I wasn't going to fight and just yeah. wasn't going to dispute it. And like, we were talking like, you know, like what you said T people got the nerve to be the ones that are going to dictate how it's going to, you know, how that person's going to handle it and what things, you know what I mean? It, it, I, I, right. I wasn't like that. You know, I was ready to like, for one, I'm blessed that they, that they forgave and they were able to give me that chance. You know, that's, that's the first thing. 
you know, and then the, mm-hmm. and then the second thing was, yeah. okay, who am I to sit here and complain about, you know, the, 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 the things that I'm going to have to do to, you know, build that trust back. So, you know, that's basically what it was. It was, it was sacrifices. You know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. And yeah. so, um, but yeah, that's, yeah. So, you know, um, well, thank, you to think being, that... thank you for being transparent. Like, yeah, that. <laughs> it's, it could be, it could be hard. Cause I, you know, I don't like to be transported back to that, you know, cause I've moved, I've, I've come so far, but you know, we're, we're being, we're, this is what the podcast yeah. is all about. You know, it's, it's what we're, that's that's right. we are, that's we're right. not, we're not always, we're not like the worst we've done in life. Like, for me, it's like I yeah. can I can talk about things that I've done that weren't great because it doesn't make me who I am today. I mean, it was part of my story, but mm-hmm. when right. you've had evolution, you know, mm-hmm. it's like I could just so, talk about so, it. it. It happened and it was what it was. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. T, back to you. After <laughs> after, <Uh-oh>. <laughs> uh, after what he after what he just shared, since he was on the flip side, um, you mentioned that you had that happen. Oh, uh, well, you happened. Um, you happened to have done that. So you happen to have cheated. Um, when you did, did that person forgive you? Yeah, because he, he wanted to continue the relationship. Oh, okay. Okay, but you but didn't. I, but I you didn't. were already done. Yeah. Okay. So was I he- had actually been done it's- a while when I first when I started cheating, I was pretty much done. I just didn't. When you started, pull the trigger. Like I, like when when I started with the cheating. Did I you start was, another relationship? No, Go we weren't fair. in a relationship. We didn't make it like official. Um, okay. But I was cheating. I mean, yeah, I was yeah. cheating. So it is what it is to me. The details. It doesn't even matter what the circumstances are. When you cheat, yeah. you cheat. Yeah, I agree. that's just what it is. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. I was cheating. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. I didn't start a whole relationship, mm-hmm. but it was it was a um, situation where they mm-hmm. they were friends. They were friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We were mm-hmm. all friends actually, um, but oh, they were okay. they were friends. They were boys. They were friends. Okay. So I did. It was a cold broken. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> um, so 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 my question is what. What was the what motivated it? Was it a matter of circumstances like proximity, or was it just uh, let's just say, or was it just like uh, a moment? It was a moment, you know what I mean? It like, wasn't a was moment. It just a moment. In, I want to say a moment, a moment in time, not not one one moment, but just like a moment where you guys were just caught up in doing something and kind of not thinking about the other person in the, in that in that moment in those moments I should say well what happened okay let me I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this fast what happened was okay. the guy that I okay the guy that I cheated with we were friends first mm-hmm. they were friends okay. but we mm-hmm. were fr- out of the two of them me knowing the two of them I knew the guy who I cheated with first mm-hmm. it was okay. in college it was in college we were in a class together and that's okay. how we met, okay? Okay. But we were okay. just cool. We we were nothing more. We were always just friends. Okay. Fast forward a few a while into the future, we went to the movies, and then mm-hmm. my friend, my girlfriend, came along with me, and we met up with the guy that I was in college with, and then he brought along the guy that was going to be my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. That's when I met my boyfriend for the first time. Okay. I was digging him that night. I was digging him that night. I was like, oh, you know, oh, so boom, we got together. Okay. Then fast forward, you know, a few years down the line, we're all friends. We hanging out, whatever. That's why I said it was a cold broken. We were all friends. Cool. Mm-hmm. Then my boyfriend, they were both from New York. My boyfriend moved back to New York. Oh, okay. Um, and when he did, we were still here in, in, in Baltimore and we were hanging out, but we, we were always friends, always close friends. So we stayed, we were hanging out. And then one, I went up for a visit for my birthday. It was my birthday and my boyfriend mm-hmm. didn't do any, he didn't do anything for my birthday. He did nothing. Okay. He didn't even mention okay. happy birthday to me. Wow. At the, and that, that just made me feel like crap. 
Because I'm like, as much right. as I do, even going back and forth, I was the one doing all the visiting. Like, I was putting... Yeah. I'm, first of all, let's just be clear. In my relationships, I invest a lot. I always invest yeah. on everything. Mm -hmm. And yeah. when I was getting that in the return, I'm like, I don't deserve this. And it hurt me. Like, I, I remember I cut my, my visit short. I immediately came back to Baltimore. And mm -hmm. my friend was the one picking me up from the bus station. The friend. Oh, so got you. He didn't know why I cut the, the visit short. I just was like, hey, he was already due to pick me up. I was like, hey, I'm coming back early. Can you mind picking me up? He's like, sure. He was there. Mm -hmm. I get into the car and there's a gift box for my birthday of this perfume oh, wow. that I had been talking about forever. Mm -hmm. And he bought mm -hmm. it for me. So he's like, wow. yeah, I got you. He was like, I got you behind your gift. They go, your gift. I was like, oh, thank you. And right then and there, that's what sparked it. Mm, I didn't know it at yeah. the time, but that's, I was like, yo, I was like, you just Gave got this for me. <laughs> I was about to say, the, the, the panties just <laughs> melted at that point. Just, Man, <laughs> let me tell you, you know, what was it, Martin? He was like, splash. I don't know. With that one episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. It was like, oh, oh, wow. Okay. So it was just a mental yeah. note. It was like, damn, I don't have to say anything to him. I don't have to co- He just, yeah. I like, pe I like doers. I like people mm -hmm. who, mm -hmm. like I said, it was a perfume that I've mm -hmm. been talking about forever and he wow. just bought it. Mm. So wow. me home. it didn't start that night or that day or anything. It actually didn't start for some time, a while after that. But that was the catalyst. That whole experience yeah. was the catalyst for me. I'm like, I don't, Obviously, I don't mean anything to this guy. When I'm showing him and invested so much, there's not a birthday, yeah. there's not a hot, there's nothing that goes by that I don't show my support to him. But then he he just dropped the ball on my birthday, yeah. and mm -hmm. I came up here to visit him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I, I felt some, I felt the mm -hmm. way about that. Went through mm -hmm. went through all those term, went through all those tolls for him. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So um, I can remember clearly when it happened, we were taking a walk and it's going to sound like something out of a out of a movie. But seriously, we were at the harbor. Mm -hmm. We always would go to the harbor and just chill. We would get something to eat, play pool, whatever. We went to the harbor. We were walking mm -hmm. around and he and I'm walking a little bit ahead of him. And he I just felt he grabbed my hand. He pulled me back and kissed me. Mm -hmm. And in wow. that moment, I mean, it's nighttime. You got the water. You got the mm. lights glistening. I mean, the moment was perfect. <laughs> it was damn near perfect. <laughs> it was damn near out of a movie. And that's, yeah. what, it, that's what it was. Now, now I will tell you, when mm -hmm. I was cheating with this guy, I there was feel I was in love. I there was love. Yeah. yeah, I fell in love with him. So it wasn't mm -hmm. like a wham bam thing i really did fall in love with him mm -hmm. which is why mm -hmm. i when my boyfriend wanted to continue the relationship i did not yeah i did not you knew, because you i knew, knew you knew where you had went with it and you're like it's not it wouldn't be right it's, right it's a waste yeah it's not fair to you not fair yeah i got you right it makes sense but, but then lo and behold i had found out that the friend back in college he had always mm -hmm. wanted to be with me. He just never told me. Mm -hmm. So then when I got mm -hmm. with my boyfriend, which was his friend, he then was like, well, I'll, I'll I won't ever tell her my feelings then because now she's with him. So what's the point? Mm -hmm. right. right. So, yeah. So, yeah. Wow. And that's, we can I mean, we went on for a year. It, it lasted four years. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Four years? Wow. Yeah, see for me, I've had relationships, but I don't I don't go through a lot of relationships. I've had relationships, but they've la all lasted for years. Like mm -hmm. yeah. years. I'm just a I like monogamy, so yeah. I don't sleep around, I don't do all that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's good. Awesome. Thank you for being, you know, yeah. so transparent. Like definitely appreciate that. Um, yeah. so for, for those, for those watching, um, the question is posed to you, uh, if somebody cheats on you or if you have cheated, um, what's that look like, um, for you, um, in those situation, what is, what, what kind of things did, uh, you have to, if you, if you cheated, 
like what kind of hoops and things that you have to jump through yeah. and if that happened to you what did you require of that person if you forgave them what what did you require of them to forgive them um to move on are you able to move on right um were you able to forgive um you know leave leave it in the comments mm -hmm. um and you know like and subscribe uh we really appreciate it um but yeah we do this topic to start a conversation yeah for sure and mm -hmm. and hope and hope to change and open up dialogue about things and uh that's that's why we're doing these topics that's why we do this podcast so yep. i thank both of you for being so mm -hmm. you know, open about that for sure definitely i mean i yeah, think of course I, know it's not easy. I think being able to be open um comes with well, I know for me, it comes to a level of like, it's like maturity. Like you get to a certain place where you're just able to talk about these things. Cause you know, in the past it wasn't, it was hard for me to talk about these things, you know, and there was a lot of guilt. There was a lot of, I st there was a lot of, you know, unforgive um, like unforgiveness within myself, you know? Yeah. I was, uh, yeah. So, you know, but as have I'm you forgiving your, have you forgiven yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Or you think I think you're still working on it. I think I have. Yeah. Yeah, I believe I have. Okay. Yeah, but real quick, so we—I mean, we got a little, we got a couple minutes left, but I just want to ask the obvious question and get your, you know. Okay. So, can yeah. you can you love someone and still cheat on them? Mm. I mean, it sounds kind of funny yes. the, way I, the way I pose it, but so you. Yes, I believe you can. Yeah, I believe so too. Um, some people would say yeah. no, you know. Um. But I believe you can. I just are... feel like once you do that, you need to re you need to ask yourself some questions about mm -hmm. where you really are sitting within that relationship. Yeah. yeah, if you if you love them, you can't continue to do it and not have them know. Yeah, that's that's my thing. You can't continue because what it comes down with me, what it comes down to with me is being open and honest. Well, that's mm -hmm. part of the when I was saying that I I had to be honest about when I did it it's because I did love this person a lot and I and like mm -hmm. I just remember so I remember one time uh well mm -hmm. I just I was in the car with them and mm -hmm. I just remember just just busting out in tears because I had done it but it was something that like you know I was like, why did I, you know, to myself, I was like, I love this person. Why, why, why did I do this? You know what I mean? Right. And it right. was just like, I felt so bad. This is not me. Yeah, it's this not me. Not well, me. it was so never me. Yeah. That's the thing. It was never me. I was never the type of person yeah. to do this type of thing. I feel like, um, yes, it was a decision. I'm not going to sit here and, and make excuses for what I did. But I feel like there was a lot of peer pressure involved. There was a lot of um, anger and uh, just... Um, frustration with myself and it was a lot there's a lot of things going on but um you know i wasn't the type of person i was always the honest you know loyal faithful person um so and you had to carry that yeah so and that's not who i was and that's why when i did it 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 just ate me up you know it stressed me out it um you know and it just it was just you know so yeah but yeah so yeah i believe you can love because, you know, I, we, because, I mean, okay, so if we want to take, like, cheating, like, you with someone, you love them, but you cheat on them mm -hmm. for whatever reason, I, I don't know mm -hmm. what people, you know, people go through stuff, but, like, I feel like there's other things that you can do to, to people as well, other than cheating, where you're being, like, dishonest, or you're really, I mean, well, when we get into the territory of, like, physical abuse, that's, I don't know, that's, that's a tough one. You know, like, but and I don't. Like and that's a matter of that leaves a scar. That's more. That's that's more like that's harm to that person. Like you don't love them. Yeah, you don't. You and don't then I also feel like it has something to do with yourself. themselves too. They may yeah. have some issues going or on let, with them well, let, let, let me. This is what popped in my head. Let me word it like this. Maybe you just don't know how to love them. Yeah, absolutely. Like you want to love them, um, or you may want to love them. Not everybody, 
but you just don't know how. So you're, yeah, you, you know, you're displaying really horrible behavior. You're doing really horrible things because you do not know how to love that person. You know what I mean? Um, and then the person really, may, may not know really, about commitment either. They may yeah, not know this is really, what commitment this is, really, is because commitment is, is, is staying true to something or doing what you said you would do long after the feeling is gone. In, yeah. in the moment that you said it, like, so yeah. if I commit yeah. to someone right. 10 years ago, and then we are 10 years later, that's a commitment. If I'm committed to you, even when I don't like you, mm -hmm. <laughs> I may yeah. have a day where I'm just like, I'm not really feeling you. Yeah, that don't mean I can go out and go do whatever the heck I want to do. Right. It's commitment. So I don't mm -hmm. think people understand that and they don't stick to that. That's they, where I think it. You it's know. like conditional. It's like, well, I'm gonna act mm -hmm. right. You know, I'm gonna act right most of the time, but then when you start acting up, then I'm gonna. You know what I mean? <laughs> but but then also, you yeah, know, you. Get back to but then w one more thing, like get back all, to that behavior, right? Exactly. But also, you have, I mean, if that person came from an abusive home or something, and they, you know, they were used to seeing, you know, their family or parents or whatever, you know, or they were abused or, you know, there's a lot of reasons why people do stuff. Like they really want love. They, you know, uh, but they just, it's, it's just a really bad, um, uh, uh, pattern, you know, something that, you know, mm -hmm. so, um, but yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a whole nother topic. Right <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, that is, that is. But you know? yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's doing harm physically. That's like, yeah, yeah. you're, you're, you're you don't know how to prop, properly love or care you don't know what that's really until because if it if it really means you love them like it's more about you than them i mean cheating is a little bit more about you than them too but yeah mm -hmm. sometimes it's how people deal with hurt like the way that people deal with hurt and if mm -hmm. you've been hurt by a person um you might not say nothing you might just internalize it and then you do some kind of horrible action mm -hmm. towards them you know right. what I'm saying? It's it's like a spite like a spite thing. Sometimes it's not something that you premeditate, it's just something that you subconsciously have already decided to do. That's right. just my right. and what I, I think. You're right. You're right, cuz. I just think it's an incompleteness in within people. Like mm -hmm. even for me, yeah. I could have very well I knew where I was at that point in time in that relationship. Right. I knew where I was. I knew yeah. where my mind was and how mm -hmm. I was feeling about this person. I could have easily been like, listen, I'm, I'm just, this is not working anymore. Either we're going to fix this and have a conversation. If, if I'm not yeah. going to do that, I shouldn't have stepped out, but I did. Right. I right. did. Yeah. It was, it was also convenience. The guy was here. He wasn't, he was in a whole nother state. You know, there's different yeah. factors. However, at the, at the end, I always take accountability for the fact that I did not handle that properly. Right. And right. I didn't, and, 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 and then I think about this too. Even in this conversation, I never even mentioned that he had cheated on me first in the relationship because I don't even, oh, wow. even when I, when oh, I wow. think about that, mm -hmm. I don't yeah. even go there because I only take accountability for what so I did. Yourself. Yeah. You don't want to yeah. be one of those people. It's like, well, you did it first. You because know it mean? doesn't even matter Yeah, because I could have yeah. very well left when he did. Well, we did break for a period of time, yeah. but we got back together. Right. And then I ended up doing so at the time that I did. So it doesn't right. matter. It doesn't even matter about what wrong he did to me first. It's the fact that yeah. I cheated. I didn't mm -hmm. have to cheat. I did. Right. However, so it's going back. It's going back to him not doing what he needed to do with that forgiveness. Right. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I did write the slate. It was like, hey, what are you going to do with the second chance yeah mm -hmm. right and then again if you don't do well with it then whatever but again i could have left i did not leave i just i cheated mm -hmm. but then i left like i, I cheated first and it wasn't even it, it, people <laughs> may think well yeah. maybe that's why you did it no i didn't stay because i wanted to hurt him back it was really mm -hmm. like that weekend did me in yeah, like you were really caught up in you were caught up in your like, feelings and your emotions and you were really caught up in it you know yeah, like we, you know, we get like that. I mean, you know, you know, yeah. When you invest so much of yourself, yeah, and I mean, for real, people need to realize what that does to a person. I know. Yeah, like the least you can do is is return that. Like that's the least yeah. you can do. Yeah, I agree. And if you're not, 
like then have the conversation yeah true but wow. i just think at the end of the day we all have to look at ourselves as to why we do the things that we do mm -hmm. like right. i learned from that like i said that was well over 20 some odd years ago like like oh, okay. 25 years ago or so it's been a long very long time i never ever in any other relationship cheated that's good ever because i saw what it did to him mm -hmm. it really hurt him when i did and that's that. another thing like it mm -hmm. seeing the pain that you know you put people through and the pain that you even put yourself through is just like man that's not yeah i mean yeah that's tough but evolve too people have to mm -hmm. evolve like i really i can say with a hundred percent certainty every relationship i've been in i have once that relationship has ended or even during the process of it mm -hmm. I always look at myself and try to do better good like just always try to evolve because at the end of the day i know i want to be someday i want to be married i want to be mm -hmm. you know have that type of dope bond with someone and have the, that type of relationship that I've always wanted to have and build. Mm -hmm. You can't do right. that when you when you faltering. You can't do that when you live in messy. You know what? You can't have that. That's what I never understood because I've had friends. Hey, stop. I've had friends that like would act a certain way, like they're in a relationship with someone, and they're ace hey, again, and they're um, <laughs> act, they're acting a certain <laughs> they're acting a certain way in the relationship, and they're like, well. You know, once I get married, then I'm gonna be faithful, or I'm gonna do this. Right. Once nope. I get married, I'm That's like, no, realistic. like all that time before that is literally practice. You're not just gonna, yes. you're not just gonna go walk through the door and automatically a light switch is gonna come on and you're gonna be able to uh, have, have self control automatically. You That's just what they tell them. The, so. Yeah, you gotta build up that self control. Yeah. You know, it takes time to build it up to mature to get to that point. So that's why I never right. understood when um. You know, I've heard, I've heard that, that stuff before. But Cass, and, it's yeah. not even what like, they you know tell themselves. That <laughs> no, right? It's it's society too. Do you have? I, I I've always hated how people say you're single until you marry. Right. No, maybe maybe by the the the, the status that people use. Yeah. Because there is no when you go to any kind of job and even on applications or anything, it never says in committed relationship is either single, married, divorced, widow. Like mm -hmm. that's all that's because that's the only options they give you. Yeah. However, when mm -hmm. you commit to somebody and you've been in a committed relationship, that means something. And you're supposed mm -hmm. to be you're supposed to be cultivating <clears throat> in that which you then will have later. And also what I don't like is I've been in experiences like this where I've been around married couples and I've been the only person, me and my significant other were the only mm -hmm. non married couple there. Mm -hmm. And they look mm -hmm. down on they look down on it. Oh, y'all not married yet. Oh they yeah, like, yeah, yeah, make yeah. it seem like it's like, like there's no value to what you have. And I'm looking like yeah, really? Do you realize I've probably been together with this yeah. dude longer than y'all been together? Just because you married don't mean I right. mean don't don't diminish what somebody has just because they're not married. I agree. Because what you're supposed to be doing, you're supposed to be cultivating everything within that situation and that relationship that you're mm -hmm. taking into your marriage to make it even that much more solid. Yeah, it's preparation. Right. It's preparation. That's the step before. It's preparation. Yeah. And you're supposed to be using it as such. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't mm -hmm. because they, they don't. Ask, like you said, they go into it with the mindset, well, we're not married yet. So, mm -hmm. nah, that's not going to work. Right. Yeah, that's not realistic at all. It's not. Like and if that's the type of time like you want, take it elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not gonna, because you're not gonna ever be in that. You're not gonna be in that mindset just because you got there. Don't mean you know. That's just somebody who had an experience to even want to get married. Like who talks like that, really? Yeah. Um. But guys, uh, it is way past the time. Um. We really need to not, yo. man, if there's any way we can have, <laughs> uh, like, yo, these topics we have, man, it's like an hour, don't do it. No, because yeah. I was going to, yeah, because yeah. it was another, like, some more stuff on cheating, I had, you know, topics, but yeah, we, we're, we're past the, uh, past the hour, so. Yeah, I was going to, I was going to end it when, um, when Tosh was like, end of the day. <laughs> At the end of the day, I was like, speaking of the end of the day, <laughs> segways <laughs> <laughs> had your segue already. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah but then but then you brought in a, a yeah i don't like I, I i don't want to like i i don't i feel uncomfortable when someone's saying something good i don't want to cut them off i'm like want to get their peace out there and i'm trying to find you know what i mean because something but yeah but i didn't feel i didn't feel like this conversation was going to have one of those breath moments i felt nah, like you just gotta jump in because you know? it's it's gonna yeah we got so much to say so yeah. it's like you're doing double dutch mm-hmm and you yeah. gotta jump in <laughs> yeah yeah there's yeah. no perfect like, moment jump just, in for the rope stop yeah. moving right but um yeah thank thank <laughs> y'all for for tuning in for sure um word so you know leave your comments down in the comments section you know your experiences um thoughts any topics any ideas um we really appreciate you guys um Make sure you like and subscribe Word. as well. Mm-hmm. And um, smash that like button. Smash it. Definitely. And please follow our on YouTube, on Facebook. Mm-hmm. We need to do an Instagram page as well. Yeah. That's coming yeah. soon. Yeah. Yeah. Get some more um to be put some to be up on there. to be determined. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we will see you guys, you guys. on the next episode 15. Peace. Peace.